All right, I'm Nick, out in the garage. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about why I cannot stand fishing in the month of August. But before I do that, if you're a subscriber, go down to the comment section and tell me why you want this red safety flag. The obvious answer is you wanna be safe. And I'm gonna ship out two of them to anyone who subscribed and watched the video and comments. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. You guys help out a ton by buying our products and I try to give back as much as possible. I'll probably start giving away a few of those every single month because they are important and it will stop it from getting rear-ended, ideally. Now, why I hate August. One, it's just way too hot. Uh, if you guys follow us on Facebook or Instagram, I don't really post any photos in the month of August because we already run enough fishing trips and I don't wanna run any more fishing trips in August, right? So we probably ran 15 charters this month, which are mostly the beginning of the month because the last week and a half, two weeks, the weather's been pretty bad. Uh, we had some trips on the books. Obviously, we had to cancel them just because of hurricanes and high winds and rain, which happens every year. It's something you got to plan for and accept. But August is just hot. Now, you can beat the heat. You can go dock light fishing. You can do a variety of different things. However, it's just not always possible. And I work, you know, obviously we work a lot. We have a lot of projects in work. We have fishing trips first things in the morning. I have no way to go fishing at night because I got to sleep sometime, right? And face it, I worked mid-shift for years. I enjoy being in my bed at night, okay? It's not for me anymore. Maybe sometime once or twice a year, but not always. So August is hot. The king mackerel bite usually ends early. It's usually not that good off the beach. You can't really keep anything. Everything's pretty much closed other than, you know, the random grouper if you get one, but you kill a lot of red snapper in the process. The water's hot, deoxygenated, the king mackerel are deep or they're further off the beach. Inshore, a lot of times you're either sweating to death or the bite shuts off by 8.30 and it's just not worth the time. And it's nice to take a little bit of a break during August because September, October, November, December, it's busy, it's full go charter season. And man, I just don't like to fish in August. In the past, I've posted about that on Facebook and I got you know eaten alive in the comment section about if I were you, I'd fish every day no matter what. It's the dream, blah, blah, blah. It is, but once you do it every single day, you gotta be smart, you gotta save your legs, you gotta save some energy and plan for the future. August is hot. So if you didn't fish much in August or you noticed that we didn't put out a lot of content, it's because I was working on some projects behind the scenes, one of which is the floating prop nut for the autopilot or the 106 Minn Kota. It'll fit either. Uh, very, very simple, nothing to it. It does float. It's a little bit thicker than the stock nut. That's gonna allow you to get your fingers on it. You don't actually need to use the kill switch with their little wrench in it. You don't wanna break that if anything bad happened to it. You hope the magnet still works, right? Uh, very, very simple, nothing to it. We're gonna toss them on the website. If you're watching this, they are on the website for three bucks, like the other nuts for the propeller series or for the, wow, PDL series. That's that, super simple, not much to it. We sent it out to two to three people. They both tested it, or all three of them tested it. Uh, no issues, the feedback was, hey, it's easier to get my hand on, blah, 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 and so on. It's there, if you need an extra, it's smart to get it, it's smart to have it on board, just in case something bad happens. Now. The next project we're working on, I'm not gonna give you all the details, it involves these two little pucks. If you can guess in the comment section, more power to you, I'll tell you if you're right, I'll tell you if you're wrong. Ideally, this project is supposed to be done sometime at the beginning of this week, we're a little behind schedule, we had a problem sourcing the material, and then we're working with the local small business to get the product, can't, man, I can't give away all the secrets, right? We're to get it, uh, can't use the right word, get it set up, okay? Once one of the pieces is cut to the correct dimensions, we'll get it all worked out. It'll be on the website. We're gonna make a video about it, do some tutorial videos, stuff like that. Super simple, I'm really excited about it. I've actually complained about this piece of the kayak for months. I was hoping Old Town would remedy it and going forward, they're probably not going to, so I figured that we'd make a solution ourselves. You guys stay tuned for that. It's gonna be good. I think it's gonna do really, really well. It's gonna make a lot of people very, very happy. Now. Apologize for the lack of content. I know you guys know I'm busy. Obviously the website is still going full go. Tons and tons of orders, thank you very much. I've probably been a day or two behind on the emails. There's been a lot of emails about questions and stuff like that. If I haven't got back to you, I will. I apologize for the delay and I appreciate you guys helping us support the business. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email at nick at or leave a comment down in the comment section. Thanks for watching.